Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kum Yasha Allah, Kohalo Yam La Yahwabashim Yawashai Bahashim, Rakaha Kodash, double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to save the water to other Akiam and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yawashai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit, and um wanted to touch on this article right here with the lady not sure if you guys have heard about it but maybe you have because a lot of brothers been doing posts on it you know been doing judgment lessons on it but it says body found in jaws a florida alligator identified as 41 year old woman so damn alligator just you know walking along with a damn body in his mouth man and that's judgment from your how about shimmy i was shy and it's actually showing you judgment from your how about shimmy i was shy because before this person was found the alligator could have just gobbled her own up you know just eating her up but you're actually seeing complete evidence of the lord's judgment man because the body is in the alligator's mouth and a guy actually seen it so let's get some of the story uh i'm just gonna read through it i'm not sure if this video is gonna play it says the victim's whole body was seen getting dragged around by a large alligator in florida lake has been identified witnesses Witness Jamarcus Bullard said he had been on the way to the job interview on Friday when he spotted a nearly 14 foot alligator carrying what appeared to be a human body between his jaws near five acre Laker in Largo, a suburb in Tampa. Once I saw that it had once I saw what it had, I was like, is that like a mannequin body? It was a pit. It was pale and white. Bullard said, as the messenger previously reported. In an update. Posted online on Saturday night, the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office identified the woman as 41-year-old Sabrina Peckham. The office confirmed that Peckham is dead and the manner of cause of death are still pending. Breonna Doris, who identified herself as heartfelt Facebook post on Saturday as Peckham's daughter, said in a post that she's grieving since learning of her mom's death. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Yeah, they looking at looking, and this sounds about Edomitish, you know. And we don't go by colors, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to skin color, we don't go by dark skin or light skin or pink skin, you know, because the the Hebrew Israelites were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So Israelites look like everybody, but salvation is only for the Israelites. Just know that if you come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you could, I mean, you you are an Israelite. If you, come, if you come from Abraham, Isaac, and Esau, you are an Edomite. Now, generally, Edomites would look like this, this woman and her daughter right here. But, you know, hey, there are Israelites that look like that now. So we just go out and we teach the gospel. And if, um, the, if these lyrics, so to speak, this song, this, this word resonates with your spirit, hey, you could very well be an Israelite. But anyway, let's move on with the lesson. This is what the daughter says. The past uh, 24 hours have been filled with grief and sorrow and unbearable pain for our family. I'm posting this to put the rumor to rest and ask everyone for help. My mother, Sabrina Peckham, was the victim of the alligator attack at McKay Creek Rainbow Village. Please understand that we do not have all information yet as a medical examiner's report is not yet finished some details i would like to share is that my mother did not taunt the alligator as some are saying well what the fuck was she doing there let's see she what well, it says they got more on it I, anyway they're sending me into something else but because they're saying that basically this lady had been arrested for going into this place before but let's let's get to it it says door said her mom did not taunt the alligator and had been homeless how's your mom homeless how are you going on facebook talking about your mom you're grieving over your mom and she's homeless see cruel world hey that's that matthew 24 and 12 it says because iniquity shall abound the uh, the love of many shall wax cold you know how's your mom now unless she's just reckless at the house you know she, or say i don't know uh, you know sometimes people just can't deal with their family members like that if they're drug on drugs and you know alcohol or whatever whatever and can't you know, it's always something with them. You know, the police are constantly being called. You know, some people just be like, you know, all right, fuck that. I got it. You can't come here. I get that. You know what I'm saying? I get that. But homeless and you going on Facebook about it? Okay. Anyway, it said it, it is believed that she may have been walking to or from her campsite 
near the creek in the dark and the alligator attacked from the water. Doris added, please do not speak on what you do not know. No matter how you put it, no one deserves to die like this. <laughs> the Lord obviously seen that it was um, uh, deserving because it was Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that had done it. Matter of fact, let's just grab the scriptures. You know, this is, um, you know, uh, I know a lot of the brothers and sisters that are already into this truth. They know these scriptures. But, um, you know, we got a lot of newcomers that don't know that it's the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that kills and makes alive. We just had to keep the scriptures and, and the lessons um, simple and straightforward for uh, people that's coming in, man. You know, we have to, you know, it's not a, you're not an intellectual test. It's just a, a go into the, 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 you know, the, the subject at hand and bring out the scriptures to um, match the story, so to speak. Deuteronomy 32 and 39 says, see now that I, even I am he and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So <laughs> that, that's the Lord straight up. You can't get around that. Matter of fact, let's get this first Samuel, though, because uh, I did see one, one time this lady. She was like, that's Satan. That's not my God. Uh, anyway. Let's just get another one to, to prove it. First Samuel 2 and 6, it says the Lord killeth. And that's all caps right there. Yahweh. Yahweh killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. Yahweh maketh, maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. Lift it up. So, hey, it's simple, man. Let's go back into some more of this. I'm not going to keep it long. It's real simple. We do these eight of these lessons to let you know to repent. Because you never know where you're going to go. You don't know how you're going to go. But preferably, you want to be under the, the, the safety of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah because he's merciful. He can keep you from something like this. This is gruesome, man. You no, know, who wants to die like that? You know, I prefer to just have a peaceful night sleep, man, and just not wake up in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, I would like to just make the chariots and see the Lord come. But other than that shit, man, I don't want to go out like this. Hell no. You know, that, that's a gruesome way to go, man. OK, no, no, no. Just crazy. Uh, anyway. <sighs> let me get that. <laughs> let me get this back. It says it, it's believed that she may have been walking to or from her camp site near the creek in the dark and the alligator attacked from the water. Doris added, please do not speak on what you do not know. No matter how you put it, no one deserves to die like this. Again, of course, the Lord thought it was perfect for her to die like that because it happened. Doris started to go fund me to cover the funeral expenses. We expect to have many, many more years with her. We expected to have many, many more years with her. What the fuck do you mean? She's homeless. Why, why didn't you have her? What was the problem with her coming home? See, you, these things you had to explain in a, in a GoFundMe to me for you to get anything from me. You had to explain, like, why was she homeless and you, you have a place. Come on, man. It says, we expected to have many, many more years with her, Doors wrote on Facebook. Unfortunately, God has called her home sooner than our hearts were ready. Or at least you got sense enough to know. I don't know what she probably thinking about white Jesus, though. You know. Anyway, it says when officials captured the alligator, they were able to recover Beckham's body. Peckham's body. Officials began investigating the death on Friday afternoon at the bullet ran to the local fire station and told them of the, the horrific sight. Can you imagine? That's a Jake. I think that was a Jake, too. He was going to a damn job interview. So that cut that job. I'm sure he probably got the job, though. You know, with a story like that, hey, look, hey, you, I can, I can actually, I got an alibi. This shit is on the news. <laughs> you know, I, you know, why didn't you show up for your, hey, look, man. And he might get the job and they might tell him, hey, look, just go chill for a little while because I know that was a horrific sight. You know, get over that and, and come on, come on in when you're ready. You know, we, matter of fact, we have a, uh, you know, uh, 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 a grief team here for you. Some shit like that. Deputy said Peckham's um, family has been notified of her death and an investigation remains ongoing. An arrest document obtained by local NBC affiliate Wesh indicated that Peckham, this is the lady, now check it out, had in July been arrested for trespassing on county wetland. See? That was her warning right there. She had a warning. They say, out them wetlands, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey uh, what the scripture talks about, um, tempting, tempt not the Lord thy God. You don't want to tempt Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. 
Okay, it says the Florida Fish and Wildlife Cons um, Conservation Commission told Fox 13 Tampa Bay that the gator had been killed. Why y'all killing the gator? The gator just doing what he's supposed to do. What the fuck you think the gator gonna do? That's food. Gators, are, you know what I'm saying? See, and that's a, another thing with Esau. Esau go and they move into these places. They go and, and, and cut down all the goddamn wooded area to build golf courses and condominiums and all that stupid shit. And then you want to kill a damn animal for uh, for euthanizing animal, but only doing what they're what they're na they're natural um, naturally born to do. Come on, man. It says um. Bullet told local TV station Bay Bay News Nine that he heard shots go off a few times after emergency personnel pulled the gator out of the water. So okay, so okay, so you had to kill the gator to get the body. Okay, all right. So I see. Okay, all right. It's unclear whether the gator is one of that is the one that killed Be Peckham, or whether the alligator just came upon her her dead body. The FWC is not immediately returned to messengers' request for information. Okay, you get it. Let's check out some of the comments. We'll grab a couple of more scriptures and be out. It says apparently this woman had been arrested two weeks earlier for trespassing where the alligators were. She was homeless. So now this alligator dies. I just said that because she was an idiot. Go ahead, haters. I'm tired of seeing animals die at zoos, etc. because people are stupid. Hey, but well, people agreeing with that 100. You got three 100s right there. This person says, no hate. I agree with you. Animals pay the ultimate price all the time. But this is because you goddamn Edomites. It's, it, it, see, this is why, see, the earth that, that we go into that Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Because he's the one that's given complete control over the earth to say who can live where and who can go where and who can cut down woods here and who can set up here. And we're going to build a beach houses over here and we're going to do this over here. He's the one in control of zoning and and all these different types of stuff. He's the one that's in control of these laws, man. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? See, this man, he's the daredevil. The scripture says he's a cunning hunter, that Jacob was a plain man. This motherfucker everywhere. Now you trying to tell me that you know you 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 don't know that that area they knew from way way back hundreds of years ago that alligators were in that territory before they even started going there trying to palm spring shit want to try and retire and set up retirement homes look at the sunny beaches and look at this shit this is Esau he's greedy as hell he's always about a money grab and they set that shit up knowing full well that those animals are out there they know that they're there but yet and still what do they do they build around them. Now you have alligators and shit just walking through, roaming through yards like birds and shit chirping. Come on, man. This is Esau. But he has the power to actually do this. Jake not living around no shit like that. Jake is going to be, it's clearly far enough way a land where you can get away from those animals, basically, and let those animals roam in their swampish lands and stuff like that. You see? But not Esau. Uh-uh. Esau, man, he, he, he fucked that. Esau, he sees it as an opportunity. Oh, yeah, people love the sun. They love the beaches. It's beautiful here. And, you know, we're just going to build up and we can make a fucking fortune. You know how they get down, man. Anyway, ain't nobody's feeling sorry for this shit. No? Matter of fact, let's get another one here. Let's get this one. This one comes to mind. Hebrews 10 and 31. We'll get the classic after that, man, and just be out on it. But anyway, man, tempt not the Lord thy God and also a make make haste, man, to get to the Lord while this, these scriptures are coming out. The Lord is warning people right now, man, but people just were going on about their day. Not knowing that, you know, death is ahead of them. Death is ahead of them. They, they, you know, it's a lot of people just don't know right now as we're listening. You know, if you might be listening to this video that within 10 minutes, they ass is out of here. Within seconds of you, matter of fact, of you looking, looking at this video, somebody's out of here. Gone, man. Nothing for the Lord to take you out of here, man. Hebrews 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Can't get around that. And it is. Can you imagine how fearful that must have been? Because had it been dark and she was walking her dumb ass through there. Can you imagine just in the darkness something just snatch your ass? You, 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 you 
punching on it. You, you know, she, if it happened like that, she's rubbing her hand, you know, her hands. Now she knows, damn, I'm in the mouth of an alligator. Whoo, man, you can't tell me the Lord is not cold, man. And, and the scriptures talks about the Lord being a terrible God, man. I mean, like a ter terrifying power, man. Alashaya, man. You have to be, man, look, man. Pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah for mercy on a day to day basis. It's important. Please have mercy on me, Yahweh, and my family. Please help me, you know, um, to go and do what I got to do and get back home safely. Please keep me safe within my home, you know, because things go down within the home. It's people every day, you know what I'm saying, that die within the comfort of the four corners of their walls and their safe walls, you know? Alarms, ring cameras, all that shit. That don't stop the Lord from sending a, a spirit of vengeance. Matter of fact, and let's get that. Let's lock you. Let's get this apocrypha real quick. Because this is what came to mind immediately. This scripture right, right here. Ecclesiastes 39, 28. Also known as the book of Sirach and the Apocrypha. If you have a 1611 King James Bible. And I advise you to get one. If you don't have one. Download an app in your phone. You can get them at um, Borders Books. Or you you know, you know can get the red book. It's separate from the Bible. But you know. Uh, you have a, a smart device. It's, it's, you can get one. In, in your smart device. Just go to the Google Play Store. Or um, um, Apple Store. Or whatever. You know what I'm saying. And um, just put in Blue Letter Bible. And you can get that good Bible man. With them tools in it. Well, matter of fact, the blue letter doesn't have it, the apocrypha. You know, you'll have to put in 1611 King James. So, you know, you you know, I have like a couple of different apps as far as Bibles. You know what I'm saying? Because some of them are better than others. But anyway, this is Ecclesiastes 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So the Lord created spirits for vengeance to appease his wrath. Fire. In hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. So the Lord had it out for this lady. Not only did he put her out of her house, you know what I'm saying, had her homeless. Because ain't no telling what she was into. She could have committed adultery on her husband. They probably got into it. He probably threw her ass out. Husband probably still taking care of the kids and whatever, whatever. And she had to go out here and who knows? I'm just, you know, just speaking as a man. Never mind me on that end. But it says teeth of wild beast. See? What do you think a damn alligator is or a crocodile, a lion, tigers, bears? Oh, my. You know what I'm saying? Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword punishing the, the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment. They shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So these spirits, the spirit of that alligator, the spirit that was placed on that alligator, it wasn't going to transit. Well, Lord, she's just a little lady. Nah, got that commandment and went forth with joy and was roaming through the streets with the damn body, man. And I'm telling you, man, hey, that lets you, if that don't give you an indicator that the Lord is, 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 is a terrible power to be dealing with, these people die in horrific ways all the time, you know, and, and, and it's always seemed like you always hear another one. You know, you hear about, you know, people dying from gunshots and people stabbings you know fires and you know but all these things these spirits of vengeance they all happen but they all happen in different types of ways it's just like the lord is so creative it's not the same way every single time you know we've heard of people getting you know mauled up by alligators and shit like that but we you know i, I, I don't recall hearing a story where an alligator is just walking up the street with a body in their mouth he just headed to his spot man he's just like you know what i'm gonna share this you know, I'm going to I'm going to share this with the with the with the with the fellas. You know, you know, they got drinks. I'm going to pop up with the pizza, you know, sort of, sort of type of deal. Hey, the Lord, man, it's cold. That's a sense of humor for real there. So, hey, it's high time to awake out of sleep, man, and to repent. Matter of fact, let me get that. We keep it. We keep it. Hey, got to keep it very simple. all about repentance man that's what this 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 truth is all about repentance you so-called blacks hispanics native americans you hebrew israelites repenting and coming back to the the most high power man yahweh that's the true name of the father yahweh which means that he exists or the existing one you repent to him in the name of his son because you can't just go to the father you need the son which his name is yahweh shai which means that he's the savior or deliverer in paleo hebrew and he's not this blonde haired blue-eyed white guy 
that that um, the so-called white man has been pushing around with that idolatrous ass picture, man, for hundreds of years. Anyway, Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Now it is. It's not later. It's not down the way. It's not next year. It's now, man. And again, like I said, you don't know when your time is going to come. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. It's about time to get the hell out of here. First off, the Lord is coming soon. But in between the Lord's coming, there's still death that's going to go down. There's still things that's going to happen to people. You see? It says, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Here you go. You a woman. You should be at home taking care of your, ch your kids. Your kids is on Facebook trying to get a goddamn GoFundMe together to bury your dumb ass. So wh wh how did you get out there? What, what happened that you, you, you had to leave your home and you're at a campsite now camping out? But hey, but, you know, and Florida is one of them places, too, man. That place is just all of America is just crazy as all hell. But anyway, man's goings of you. How about Shimmy? I was shy and I was the lot for her life, man. I was her. So it is what it is, man. But um, a repent, man, while, while there's an opportunity to do so. Because we are definitely in the last days. And again, a lot of judgments are going out. A lot of judgments are going out. For real. You can see it, man. You don't think that this is, you, you can't see that this is judgment. And something's wrong with you. Something's wrong with you, man. Because that wasn't a bad looking lady. If the, you know, who knows what she probably looked like. You know, um. You know, being homeless, because being homeless can do you dirty. But see, here she go right here. She don't look like a bad-looking lady. See, right here. Let's see here. I'm assuming this is her to the left here. Let's see, it's a lot. Right here. So what in the hell happened? This shit is crazy, bro. Now it's locky. I'm still trying to... So... I don't get it. So they got $1,725 of the $10,000 gold, 43 donations. <sighs> okay. Well, hey, it is what it is, man. Everybody doing a damn GoFundMe these days. But it's like, you know, when see, see when people see stuff like this, though. And again, let me see, though. Because maybe they got some more information. Because my thing is, is why is she homeless? Okay, uh, Sabrina was loved by many. We expected many, many more years out of her, with her. Our family is in shambles trying to cope with this kind of loss. Sabrina, only being 41 and homeless at the time, had no funeral or death arrangement set up. We will be using the funds raised for crematory expenses and laying her to rest in our family plot. Huh? Uh, well, you don't need a plot if you got a if you cremating her. They normally give you like an urn or something like that. I think is what they call them. Oh well, anyway. Somebody the top donation. Somebody gave two hundred and fifty bucks. But again, like I said though, man, you know, they, they look pretty happy right here. What the fuck is you doing homeless at forty one? You know, it's not talking about where we were all homeless. Obviously, this young lady got a place to stay. I don't know. Anyway, hey, just know that the Lord is 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 judging out here, man. So repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of His Son Yahweh. Side with that, Kwame Shalom.